Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic in hand is the 18th Amendment and Pakistan's Political Transition. My dear students, you would be enlightened to know that the 18th Amendment gives the Parliament, Prime Minister, Judiciary and the Provincial Governments greater autonomy under the Constitution. Dear students, as a matter of fact, the 18th Amendment enacts more than 100 changes, both large and small to Pakistan's constitution. My dear students, usme shamil hai, removing presidential powers to circumvent the normal legislative process and limiting the amount of time the president may consider bills passed by parliament before approving them under Article 75 of the Constitution of Pakistan, 1973. The next change is removing the infamous, very infamous Article 58 to be, which granted the power to unilaterally dismiss Parliament under vague emergency provisions. Neither President nor Prime Minister will have a direct role in judicial appointments under the 18th Amendment. My dear students, the appointments will instead be handled by a two-tier system that is a judicial commission. A judicial commission, my dear students, will propose nominees and a special parliamentary committee split evenly between the government and the opposition will confirm them. This is under Article 175A of the Constitution of Pakistan, 1973. My dear students, the seven-member judicial commission will be chaired by the Chief Justice, who will effectively control four of the seven seats, with the remaining three comprising the Federal Law Minister, the Attorney General, and a senior lawyer of the Pakistan Bar Council. My dear students, you would be enlightened to know that the 18th Amendment eliminates the concurrent legislative list. An enumeration of areas, my dear students, jo concurrent legislative list hai, wo ek enumeration of areas hai, where both federal and provincial governments may legislate, but federal law prevails. My dear students, you would be enlightened to know that the laws governing marriage, contracts, firearms, possession, labor, educational curriculums, environmental pollution, bankruptcy and 40 other diverse areas will now devolve to the provinces. 18th Amendment ke baad, ye jo aapko areas bataye hain, unke saad 40 areas hain, jinke baare mein legislate karne ki, policy banane ki power jo hai, wo provinces ko di gai hai. My dear students, jo reformers hain, jinho ne 18th amendment jo hai, wo introduce karwai hai, wo ye kate hain, that the reformers have considered this my year as a necessary shift for a more federal system, but there are some concerns about the ability of provincial governments to assume effective regulatory authority in these areas which have been vested now in the provinces. Hope you have understood the topic and as a matter of fact, my dear student, if you are interested knowing what exactly in detail is the 18th Amendment, you may consult or Google or consult the Constitution of Pakistan 1973. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.